Hi guys, it's Joshua Reese. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I've got something super exciting that I want to share with you guys. I literally got this in the post about half an hour ago. I wasn't expecting anything, so when I received this, I can't lie, I kind of screamed a little bit and was super excited. As it's something that I've been looking forward to since I've seen the stuff floating around, since I've seen the previews, since it's been announced basically. So, without further ado, let's jump into this video. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. So about half an hour ago, I received this bad boy in the post. Ta-da! I'm so excited. So excited. I saw people receiving this. I've seen some of the videos uh, reviewing, testing, first impressions over YouTube already. I mean... I'm still in a bit of shock that this is even sitting here with me right now. I'm over the moon and I'm so excited to get this stuff on my face. So this is the new XX Revolution brand. So this is a sister brand to Makeup Revolution, iHeart Revolution, Revolution Pro. This launches on the 3rd of June. So I have been lucky enough to receive this well in advance of launch and hopefully to give you guys a bit of an insight, show you how it wears on the skin, hopefully build some buzz and get you guys as excited as I was to receive this. In the box, I have got stuff to do near enough for full face. I've got brows, I've got foundation, I've got concealer, I've got bronzer contour, highlighter, blush, eyeshadow palettes. There's a lot. There was a lot to get through. They have obviously sent me this little press pack. So for everything that I can give information wise that is in here, the stuff that I've got, because it's not all in this press pack, I will obviously read a bit of information about it for you guys. So the box come pretty much full to the brim. It's a lot. I did say it was a lot. It's a lot and it's really heavy so I'm not going to hold this up for much longer. Initial impressions. The cartons alone, the out packaging, it's stunning. It's just so sleek looking. It's, it's just really cute and I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I mean the people that do know me and do follow me on Instagram and such will know that I am a fan of Makeup Revolution products. I have done some work with them before. I was part of the Conceal and Define Infinite campaign. Just because I have worked with them and I am on their PR list does not mean that this is going to be biased in any way, shape or form. I will be giving you my honest thoughts and opinions on the products as I find them. But just to tell you a little bit about XX Revolution, it is Beauty Rewired. This is Beauty Rewired, this is XX, the evolution of skincare and makeup into one. XX is ingredient first, from products with added skincare benefits to fresh formulas with endless choice of finish and texture. With XX, your skin is front and center. XX is fresh and fluid with impactful formulas and exciting textures, whatever the shade. Next, with two X's, Gen Beauty for Gen Now. I mean, even reading that is it's just it's just selling it to me. It's just like, oh, I want it, take my money, now get on my skin. But again, that could just be me because I'm a bit of a weirdo like that. So this particular brand, XX, launches on Wednesday the 3rd of June 2020 with an expansive collection of 250 SKUs priced between £5 and £28, cruelty free and mostly vegan, exclusively on revolutionbeauty.com, boots.com and coming soon to ultra.com and douglas.eu. What I have here isn't the full range that they're going to be releasing on the day. But this will give you, hopefully, a good enough insight on what is to come and what the products are about. Let's just get into it now. So the first things we have to look at today are some skincare and primers. So we have the H2O Glow Bomb. Then we have the Hydro Quench Bomb. Firstly, the packaging, as I say, just the outer cartons are so cute. It's definitely a step up from Revolution Skincare, which is pretty standard, plain, one colour with some embossment in some kind of metallics, gold, silver. So this is, oh, it's beautiful, it's embossed. Again, you can see the pink and blue. It's just cute. So the H2 Glow Bomb is amazing fresh gel to help restore skin with its water blast experience. High concentration of aloe vera will take you into a brand new world of hydration. Pearlescent particles will give your complexion an illuminating touch of light. I'm all for some glowy skin. As I said in my previous video, I do tend to have oily skin anyway, but I'm always here for some extra hydration. The more you hydrate your skin, the more it's supposed to help keep the oils at bay, so I'm all for it. However, the pearlescent bits in this could potentially make me look oilier than I already am. Then the Hydra Quench Bomb. Amazing fresh gel helps to restore skin with its water blast experience. High concentration of aloe vera will take you 
into a brand new world of hydration. They both have 70% water and aloe vera. The only difference being is that the H2 Glow Bomb has pearlescent particles in it, giving you that extra glow. So I've just taken the H2O Bomb and the Glow Bomb out of the cartons, and this is what the packaging looks like for both. Frosted glass, reasonably heavy. It feels luxe. It feels expensive. It feels, it feels nice. You know, who doesn't want some bougie ass feeling skincare? Some bougie ass feeling anything, to be honest. So the top of the packaging is like this on the top and what looks like some water droplets so like a water drop effect on the top here and the same is on the hydro bomb as well the hydro crunch is green inside definitely reminiscent of the aloe vera that it says is in there and then the glow bomb looks like this so again it's a gel like formula this time it's blue and i don't know if you can see it on camera but there's like little specks of glitter almost so i'm assuming that's what's gonna give you that glowy looking they both smell pretty nice. For the sake of this video though, I'm gonna go in with the Hydro Bomb. I'm gonna put that on my skin, see how it feels and how we get on with that, and then we can move on to primer. Like a tiny bit of that on the face. And we will just rub that in. Considering it's a gel, I thought it'd be or feel a little bit heavier on the skin, but no, it's pretty much absorbed almost instantaneously, if I'm honest. It's kind of just gone straight in. It's definitely hydrating. I can feel it on my skin. My skin does feel really nice. It has left a bit of like a, a dewiness to the skin, which I'm not mad at because I do like a bit of dew on the skin. So this has done it with just the Hydro Quench. I'll be intrigued to at some point try the Glow Bomb and see just how much of a glow it does leave on the skin. So next, they have kindly sent me over two of their primers. The first is the Cloud Complexion Primer. This is supposed to have a soft touch texture, sorbet like water gel with a smooth soft touch texture. Improves the appearance of skin by minimising pores and brightening the complexion. Again, packaging, ugh, <laughs> it's just so cute. It's gorgeous. I'm here for this, 100%. I'm intrigued to know what a sorbet gel like texture is going to feel like on my skin because I've not experienced any, any other skincare that I've used anyway that's been described as having that kind of texture. So, that should be interesting, to say the least. And the second primer we have is the Glow Fix Brightening Primer. White, glossy look with the silver embossed, the XX on it. This is Glow All Day Primer for lit from within skin. Universal tone, light reflecting pearls illuminates and brightens skin whilst holding makeup in place. Cranberry seed oil and caffeine. So taking them out of the packaging, the Glow Fix Primer looks like this. I'll try some on the skin and see how it looks. There we go. Right, let's just rub that in and see how that looks. It definitely has some glow to the skin. Don't know if it's picking that up there. But because it is quite gold looking on the skin, I don't think I'm going to put that on my face today. We'll have a look at the Cloud Complexion Soft Blur Primer. Packaging again is frosted glass and the lid this time. And that iridescent, it's not picking up well on camera, kind of hollow looking. This almost looks like a mousse. It's a bit bizarre looking, but I can kind of understand now why the clouds were on the packaging. It does look like a cloud. It smells gorgeous. Just put that on the back of the hand as well, just to, oh, that really is a really bizarre feel. Oh, it's very nice. It does look like it's blurred my hand a little bit. For this video, I'm gonna go with a bit of that on the skin and hopefully blur, blur, blur some of these pores and make me feel and look a bit more human, I suppose. It feels super lightweight, but it feels super nice on the skin. That has definitely blurred my pores. Say, so I am a fan of this. Oh, that's delicious. That is delicious. So I'm gonna do this in order that I would normally do my makeup. So we're gonna go in with a brow product. So this is the XX Fine Brow. This is a super fine buildable brow pencil, precision tip to create definition and give a microbade effect. This is what the product component looks like, it is so luxe. Hello. It has the microfine tip on one end, so this should hopefully be able to give that individual hair like stroke feel and look to your eyebrows, so I'm excited to try that. On the other end it does have a spoolie, so you can brush the brows out and give it that feathered look to your brows. For this, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit, just so you can actually see the product 
in action. So we're very up close and personal. Welcome to my face. We are just going to brush the hairs up as always. And then we are going to go in with the pencil underneath and just draw in the bottom of the brow. So we have that underneath bit done. Then we'll just brush the hairs down and then we will just go in and fill in the rest of the brow. So we have one brow done. I will do the other brow camera and I'll be right back. Thoughts on the brows or the brow product. It's not overly pigmented, but I like that because it is exactly as it said, it's buildable. To get that level of color that you want, the precision and sharpness that you want was really easy. I will just say that for me, it will take a bit of getting used to holding the, the square component, but that's fixable, that's doable, that's fine. Right now that is done, we will move on to the foundations. So there are two foundations. We have the Double Fix Foundation and the Glow Stick Foundation. So this one here in the black packaging is the Double Fix Foundation, Silk Finish, Long Wear Liquid Skin Foundation, Full Coverage for a Flawless Complexion, Infused with Vitamin E and Hyaluronic Acid to Hydrate the Skin. Again, it is sticking to the skincare infused makeup. So for the pink one, the Glow Skin Foundation, lightweight, buildable, skin true foundation, medium to full coverage, illuminated pearlescent particles for a glowing skin finish, infused with hyaluronic acid to hydrate the skin. The Glow Skin Foundation looks like this. Again, the packaging is just an overall win for me. Everything that I've opened so far, the packaging is on point. They've really stepped their game up for this launch. The Double Faux Foundation looks like this. Revolution did kindly send me out a few shades. I'm going to go in with the Glow Skin Foundation. I do have a bit of a tangle at the minute and the Glow Skin Foundation is one they sent me a darker shade on. So as you can see, that was one pump. Actually, it's quite a good colour to my hand, actually. So we will put this on the face and see what we think. Coverage is there. And that's just the tiniest bit on the sponge. I mean, I know I've not blended it out properly, but coverage. Let's have a little look in my mirror. Looks really nice on the skin. Almost like a second skin type feel to it. It definitely has a glow to it you can see so this is right up my street it is really nice I'm a fan of that I'm a massive fan of that I would say get my basket but it's already in my basket <laughs> now we're gonna move on to concealer so we can get rid of some of these little baggies that are under my eyes this is the conceal fix super fix concealer this is supposed to be crease proof life proof okay full coverage concealer okay con full coverage it's got me conceals and brightens skin Covering blemishes, dark circles and redness. Stretchable formula with no flashback. They're selling me. They're selling me something. Are they selling me a dream? Or are they going to sell me something that actually works? That's what the component of the actual concealer looks like this. So again, it's very reminiscent of the Skin Finish Foundation. So that is what the doe foot looks like. It's like a little shoe or an iron. Which is quite interesting. I've not seen a doe foot like that before. But it does look like it will be able to get into where I need it to. I think I'm going to go for the shade... 4.5 put that on all of my conceal my usual concealing areas so under the eyes bridge of the nose tip of the nose and a bit on my forehead doesn't feel too thick on the skin at all coverage hello 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 dark circles be gone we don't know her anymore she's been evicted from josh's face oh My skin looks flawless. Like, my base looks flawless. I'm not mad. Look at those under eyes. They're snatched. She is snatched. Oh! Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Where did you find her? Who is... Hi, me. Oh, obsessed. <laughs> Moving on. This collection didn't come with any setting powders, so I am going to lightly powder my face down, and I will be right back. See you in two. So I have set the foundation down, as I said, but only very lightly. And you can still see there is still some glow peeking through, which I love. Oh, it's really nice. And I don't tend to find a lot of foundations that once I've powdered down, no matter how lightly, I still get that glowy, dewy, kind of glow from within look. But with this, it's giving me that, so I'm not, I'm not mad at it. Now we're going to move on to some bronzer and blush. And for that, we have the Gravitate Complexion Palette. It's pretty. It's got the little ridge, do some ASMR, which looks like this. 
is this not giving you hourglass vibes or what? As you can see, it has a bronzer shade, which looks like this. The blush shade looks like this. It's got a bit of a sheen to it, which is quite nice. And then the highlighter in this one looks like this. That's pretty. This all seems to be like a baked style formula, but now the true test will be how it actually sits and wears on the skin. So I'm gonna go in very lightly with the bronzer shade in this palette. So I like to take my bronzer and quite a big like stippling brush. It is stained, don't judge me, okay? Don't judge. But I will dust off in my little color switch, that's it. Let's see if we can bring a bit of life into this already pretty damn flawless face. I only dabbed in lightly and knocked off the excess, so it has some pigment to it already. It's like one of those bronzing but contouring shades as well, which I like because it saves on putting too much powder on the face and then looking over powdery, so. Mm. Oh yeah, look at that. Look. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in this that's gonna be a bit miss for me? I'm hoping not, but. Just take some on the forehead, or the five head, or however big my head is. This is definitely going to be buildable, which I quite like. But I mean, again, I do use a stippling brush as opposed to going with a denser brush and kind of being like, whoa, too much too soon. We ain't that friendly with each other, so let's just go and let's build a relationship. Let's build a relationship rather than, you know. Can you guys see this? Like, it's giving me bronze without being over bronzed. I look like I've been on holiday. I look like I've been away. Like, this is beautiful. Like, this is actually stunning. Oh. I mean, everything for me has ticked a box. I have no complaints over this, and I am obsessed with how my base looks. Like, absolutely obsessed with my base right now. I'm gonna have to stop with the bronze, because I'm gonna end up going in too ham, because I'm obsessed with it. So now, from the same Gravitate face palette, we're gonna dip into the blush. It does look quite shimmery. It's got a bit of a sheen to it in the pan. Not sure how it's gonna translate on the skin, but we can only try it and see, right? Let's dip into that pink shade. Dab, dab, dab. Oh, she is, she's a highlighter. She is very, very glowy, so glowy. I mean, looking face on, you can see that it's giving me like a bit of color, but it's very glowy. I don't know how often I'd reach for this as a blush, but as like a, a blush topper as a whole, yeah, I mean, I guess. I'd definitely reach for that bronzer contour shade again. That's, that goes without saying at all. The reason why I'm not taking the highlighter out of that one is I do have a few different highlighters. So I'm going to swatch all three for you and we will see which one I'm going to use for today. So they have sent me over two individual highlighters. These are the exposure highlighters. So these are baked formulas. This one in strobe. The second one we have is in focus. The components themselves are the same as the face palette. So strobe looks like this. Love the, the product itself. The X embossed in it. And then focus looks like this. So this one is a bit more gold. So I'll swatch these for you. So the first one we'll swatch is Focus. Oh, it's really buttery, really smooth. Oh, look at her. Oh, the glow is intense. I love it. Then we have Strobe. Again, super soft, super buttery feeling. Love it. Oh, that's a me color. Uh, I thought Strobe would be quite champagne looking in the pan, but it's almost on screen. Looks like it's got a bit of a, um, a pinky tint to it. And then we'll take the highlighter that's in the face palette. It's definitely not as blinding or as intense as the individual ones. Again, it's got like a bit of a pinky shift to it. Mm. I'm gonna go for focus, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go for focus. How this looks, I'm excited. I'm excited. I love me a highlighter. Like, the way the highlighter just hits sometimes and it just brings out that like, sass little moment and you're like, oh yep, I'm here. This is me, peep the glow. Bye bye now. But we are just going to dab our brush in there. There's not any kick up or anything in the pan, which I like. And that was rude. This oh, oh, rude in the best way ever. Oh, what is this behavior? Oh, oh. This is a glow baby's dream. This is beautiful. Look. Look at her, <laughs> look at her, look at her. No, no. That is insane. Oh. Revolution highlighters are always sick. This 
is that this is next level. It is. It's not picking up any texture. It's kind of like melting into the skin almost. Oh, yes, please, thank you. Just, just, just delicious. Take some on the tip of the nose as always. Some down the bridge. They have come to kill the highlighting game. Before I douse myself or keep dousing myself in highlighter, let's just move on, please. This is just next level. Like, it, it's next level. I can't. So next we're going to move on to eyeshadows. So they have these quad eyeshadows. They've sent me over two. The outer packaging looks like this. So these are... Well, quads, like I said. So we have the Experiment Express Eyeshadow Palette. And then we have the Exposed Express Eyeshadow Palette. So the Experiment has blue X's on it, um, holographic S X's. And the Exposed has, like, brownie, nudie X's on it. I'm going to assume that these are going to represent the colours inside. The first one we are going to look at is Exposed. This is the component itself. Pretty similar to the face palette and the highlighters, except this is like a gunmetal type colour. And this is what the palette itself looks like. But we have two mattes on this side. We have a shimmer and like a foiled type colour, which is looks gorgeous. I'll just do some swatches of this one for you. So this is the top matte shade here. Then we have the second matte shade here. Then we have the top shimmer. And then the foiled looking shimmer here. Oh, that's stunning. If you're a neutral lover, you need like a little palette on the go. This is one. Easy to travel with. Pop it in your bag, off you go, and look on the go. I'm assuming that's why they're called Express Palettes. So now we will look into the Experiment Express Shadow Palette, which has the same component. And this is what the palette looks like inside. Oh. That's a bit of me. I love a blue. That cool tones are my absolute dream. So again, two mattes. This one has like a, a white pearly shimmer and then a blue foiled, almost glitter looking shade. We have the top matte shade. My swatches are so poor. Don't judge these, my swatching's bad. Then we have the second matte. Oh, that's beautiful. Then we have the first shimmer shade here. Oh. And then we have the last Oh my god, they are so me. Like the blues are me. Love them. So the last eyeshadow palette is Mahoose. Like this is Mahoosive. It is holographic. It has the XX on it. Like it is just stunning. And this is what it looks like itself. This is the actual component. It is really big. This is what the palette looks like. So as you can see, like it's not the most colourful of palette. There are some colours in there. You've got like the purple down here. You have that red shade, you have this blue shade down here, but that's it for the colours really. With these pans going up, the bigger pans in the front, it's very like, very reminiscent of like the Morphe palette. It's like the James Charles one, I think it was like the 39A, whatever it was. So it's very reminiscent of that. But this palette has 66 shades, which is a hell of a lot. I won't do any swatches of this one because there's so many colours. I could be here forever. We do have another eye palette. I'm not classing this eyeshadow palette because this is all like George shimmer type shades but I will show you this one now before I actually dive into an eye look. This is the Quartz Crystal Shadow Palette. This is the outer packaging. Out of all the packaging I think this could be my favourite. Their packaging game is coming on strong. Like don't know where they went, don't know who they spoke to but she's a win. This is what the actual component looks like. One of my favourite looking components in the um, in the launch. This one looks like this. They are really pretty. There is a variety of tones in here. I personally wouldn't normally buy an all shimmer palette but having this can be quite handy just for giving that little extra pop to an eye look. I will zoom you in a little bit closer and we will jump straight into create and hopefully something beautiful and magical just to go with this whole beautiful stunning base that I have on. I still can't get over it. Let's come in. Come a little bit closer. Just, just. So now you all zoomed in. A little too close to comfort, but here we are. I have primed my eyelids using that same foundation in 4.5. I'm going to go in with the quad first and just take the top matte shade. In through the crease 
and use it just a bit as like a trans dish blending that up pretty much into or as near to the eyebrow as I can just building that colour up a little bit at a time don't want it to be too intense but still want to see that that colour is there just focus on kind of like blending those edges out a little bit more these are applying beautifully to the skin they're blending out like a dream the pigment is there they build gorgeous love that then I'm going to take that darker more royal blue in the palette I'm going to focus this more in the crease just to build up a bit more depth and definition yeah look at that that's lovely and they're blending together so beautifully but this is blending like an absolute dream so for the lid I am going to apply this XX charged duochrome liquid eyeshadow so this is a high pigment color shift formula transform your look transform your mood the component looks like this and we'll just do a little swatcheroo on my hand that is what the product looked like on the skin look at that shift see the green the purples the blues gorgeous and apply this straight to the lid and use it to kind of cut out a crease it is really small so it's quite hard to maneuver It's not really picking up that shift now, it's on the lid. It almost looks a bit oily. Not really happy about that, to be honest. However, they did also send over this Chromatics Duo Pigment Lip Pot. High pigment, colour shift formula, transform your look, transform your mood. This is in Ignite. I might just put that over the top and see what that does because it just looks wet and kind of almost greasy on the lid, so I'm not a huge fan of that, if I'm honest. Um, it's a shame. So I'm just going to take some of this pigment. So this is what the component looks like. Wasn't the best swatch, but again, that looks super pretty. So I'm just going to take some of that on my brush and just pop that over the top of that. No, I'm still not a fan. This is a shame. It all went so well. Just take a little bit more and see if we can build any. So it takes some work. It takes some building, but here we go. There is some fallout with that, as you can see here. So I'll we'll have to dust that away. So, it's not what I envisioned, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. I will do a, another look using the bigger palette. Possibly in the next video. Um, and just try out some of the products that I didn't try today. I'm going to take that lighter shimmer shade from the quad. And just use that to highlight my inner corner. Oh, that's pretty. That's really nice. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Just to tie this look up a little bit and kind of finish the look off, Revolution did send me this exact eyeliner pencil. So it looks a bit like the, the brow pencil. So I'm just going to run this in the waterline. It does the job. Feels nice. It's weighted. So now the eyeliner's done, I will go and do the other eye off camera and I will be right back. To round off, I'm trying to give my final thoughts and opinions on everything and I will just re-go through some of the prices that I do have here for you guys, just as a bit of info for you. So we'll start at the very beginning, the Hydrobrom moisturiser felt great on the skin, it wasn't heavy, the consistency was nice and I could feel the hydration almost instantaneously. It didn't take too long to dry or sink into the skin either, I didn't have to wait too long for me to be able to put my primer on over the top, it was a yes. And packaging, again, oh, sell off, here for it. The primer, so I used the Cloud Soft Touch or Soft Blur Primer. The texture felt amazing, had that cooling kind of feeling on the skin, which was amazing, and it did exactly what it said it was going to do. I was blurred. Face tune who? We don't need to know her when you've got the Soft Touch Primer. Get it. Foundation and concealer. 
obsessed. Packaging, to die for. I used one pump of the foundation and it covered my whole face. Normally I'd kind of go in a couple of times. Coverage was great, it was lightweight on the skin. The finish was great, no complaints over that. The concealer, perfection. I really liked the doe foot. The doe foot was so nice and so different. It kind of put the right amount of product on. That was just one dip. It done both of my under eyes, my forehead and my nose. And I went in a little bit here as well, just to kind of like contour a little bit. So just like reverse contour. So I cannot rant and rave about that enough. Um, what was next? What was next? The face palette. Bronzer, I really liked. Really liked the bronzer. So I would be dipping into that again, I think. Um, the blusher wasn't quite a blusher, I don't think. I would say it was more of a blush topper. So would I use it for an everyday blush? No. Could I use it to give me more of a glow? 100%. Highlighter. We know. We just know. She was a win. She was a win. She was an absolute win. I'm here for it. Brows. Loved them. That pencil was gorgeous. And considering it's like warm brown, it is such a good shade match for my actual eyebrows. When I do wear makeup, it will be a go-to grab me product. Again, packaging on point. The whole thing, just packaging was great. Um, so what did we have after that? We had the eyeshadow palette. The one that I used was great. Pigmentation was there. They blended like an absolute dream. They were soft when I swatched them. They were great. I really enjoyed them. I will be using the bigger palette in another video just so I can experiment with more of that and kind of do different looks. This is a bit, this is like a typical me look. Dark, smoky, colour, it's just me. But I would, I would do an experiment and play around with the bigger palette and see what that has to offer. So I'm excited for that and also keep an eye out for that. Um, if you have any suggestions for any eye looks you want to see with using that palette, leave a comment down below and I will see what I can do. Going to the liquid eyeshadow and the pigment weren't really for me, I don't think. The liquid the liquid eyeshadow just looked a bit glossy, oily, didn't really give me that duochrome effect I thought it was gonna have. It may work well for other people, but I don't I I don't think I'd reach for it often, regularly. Uh, the pigment itself, again, I don't really see much of that that duochrome shift in it. It applied nicely, it didn't build up or kind of cake up on top of the wet base which was nice but I think if I was to try it again it would be over like a dark base maybe over a black and see if I can get more of that shift or more of that actual reflect that it says it's going to have on the tin. The eyeliner, I actually liked the eyeliner, it's not the blackest of eyeliners but it went on really nicely, again packaging was fantastic. I did notice though when I went off camera and did my lower lash line it did brush away like there was nothing left by the time I came back so I did have to reapply. That could be because I brushed it off with the brush. Or it could just be that there's not a longevity to it. But I will try that out again after completing a full eye look. And see how that, that wears. And then lastly, the gloss. Mm. I love it. I do want to see what it looks like over a matte lip. Just to give it that extra pop and extra juice. Um, which is normally what I'd go for. But for the sake of this, I didn't do it. Just so you can see what the gloss looks like by itself. Um, it wasn't sticky. Smelt nice. Um, and the reflex are nice. As I did say, I like the fact that it's kind of just got that silver kind of glitter to it as opposed to the iridescent pink, purple, greens that you'd normally get in a clear shimmery gloss. So that will be a staple too. My overall thoughts on the launch items that I was sent, I would give them a solid 9.5 out of 10. It's only because of the pigment, the liquid eyeshadow, that kind of, they missed the mark for me personally. That's not to say they will for everyone else, but it's just me. Again, I've not worked with pigments before, I don't really use liquid eyeshadows, so maybe that's how they're supposed to look, and I just didn't know that's how they're supposed to look. No complaints. I will just go in very quickly and give you the price and information that I do have on my press pack, just so you guys have some insight as to pricing costings of the items that will be available. So we have the Cloud Complexion Soft Touch Primer, £15, $20, €18. Euros. The Skin Glow Foundation, Foundation, £15, $18, €15. Euros. The complexion palettes, £18, $20, €18. Euros. The fixing mists, £10, $15, €12. Euros. The single highlighters, £12, $15, €14. Euros. The glosses, 
eight pound nine dollars eight euros the hydro quench bomb fifteen pound twenty dollars eighteen euros and finally the crystal xx shadow palettes sixteen pound twenty dollars sixteen euros it's affordable the brand is luxe or the brand looks like the pack packaging is amazing the products themselves by the two that didn't particularly work for me great fan like fantastic i'm i'm actually blown away by this i was excited as i said at the beginning of this i was so excited for this launch so excited and now i've got to play with it before it's released i'm so glad that i did get this opportunity to do it so i can share it with you guys and hopefully build up the same excitement that i had to make you guys actually want to play around with yourself experiment and just see this new this new phase this new adventure that revolution are embarking on so i would keep your eyes out on any further sneak peeks that they're gonna let out in terms of other products they could be releasing yeah so ultimately i hope you guys did enjoy this video I certainly have enjoyed filming it and experimenting with something completely new from a brand that I do genuinely love and have a lot of respect for. So if you did like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. And if you do want to see more of me and follow me on my YouTube journey, please subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.